How competitive are you? Used to be very competitive, but now mild down a lot. When you say competitive, am I right to say that it's about winning? It's more than winning. Win at all costs. Win at all costs. And that's probably give you uh, the salary that you need. Yeah, and the role and the position that I play in the team. So it also... What position do you play? Uh, more of a defensive mid or a defender. Before we touch on the little Kylie, what about your relationship with your dad? I understand that dad is staying with you. Yes. What about your relationship with him? Okay, a little bit on the background of myself. Uh, my mom actually passed away when I was two. So it was quite similar to me and Kylie because uh, it's like my dad is also a single parent who brought up me and my two sisters. Uh, we don't used to be very close, I mean, in my younger days because he was half, most of the time he's not at home, busy working, finding the food to put on the table for us. So, uh, but after the birth of Kylie, in fact, our bonding really improved a lot. So she is like a, a middle, middle person that link me and my dad together. So Kylie is the bridge? Huh? Yes. And your dad, what about his, his uh, parenting style? Uh, you know, olden days, they, the parent and the kid don't talk much. Basically, it's you, your education, you, you have to go to your school and get your education. His job is just basically try to uh, pay for the bills, the school fees, uh, bringing back the food. And uh, my dad himself is not very highly educated. So, uh, in terms of uh, bringing up, he, he don't really have that bonding or hands-on with us. I don't really blame him because at that time, that generation are all like that. Mm -hmm. Is he somebody who uh, uh, rough, I said, he can you, punish you? Uh, not from him, but more from my grandparents. I see. And talking about your style of parenting, is there anything similar, similarity to your dad? I thought I would bring up my kid like how he used to, but after having Kylie, I think the approach and the mentality and also the time has changed. So nowadays, we parents don't treat our kid like father and son. Our father and daughter is more like friends. So that's the only way we are, probably we can bond better and understand them better. So uh, that was a few years ago when uh, after your divorce, Kali follow you. Yes. Uh, you want to share what was your most challenging moment when this little girl, only two years old, can't even speak properly, and that's your full responsibility. Uh, at times, I mean, in those challenging moments, at times it was that uh, I have to fill in both the role as a father and a mother. So uh, this is the most challenging part, and at times where she sometimes she wanted to confine something to her mom, but at a, at a point of time, she's not beside her. So this is the part where I think is the most challenging. And what do you do? How do you solve this problem? I have to just have to tell myself and bond closer to her so that she can uh, share with op you. Yes, open up and you. open up herself and share with me. I understand now uh, to beside yourself, to take care of Kylie, uh, you have your domestic helper and your dad involved yes. in Kylie's life. You want to share about how, yeah, how this thing both happened? Both of them are my, my greatest help I have. I'm blessed that I have a very good helper, which has uh, been with her ever since uh, she spawned. In fact, one month before she spawned. So uh, she's there since day one, and she actually understands Kylie very well. Coming to that, uh, as you mentioned, I was, I'm, a football, I'm used to be a professional football player, so I'm the toughness, the the mentality, the winning mentality is always there. So, but with her and my my helper around, uh, during the years I've actually mowed down and used a different kind of approach. How do you approach? Uh, I used to have this kind of uh, teaching or parenting way whereby you must listen to me. Whatever I say is correct. But uh, after knowing them better and, and I think uh, in this modern modern parenthood, uh, there must be a two-way communication. So, dealing with a lady, which is my domestic, and also a young little girl, uh, I begin to soften up and 
maybe listen to them before I actually uh, come up with my ways. So when is that moment that come to realization? That means from a very tough guy, listen to me. When was the, the groundbreaking moment that you decided that hey, that's not the right way? Is there an in incident? Uh, yeah, I probably can recall one whereby uh, she was throwing her tantrums during one of the incidents. Then uh, I was, of course, using my way, the, using the tough and roughness. And uh, in fact, it didn't calm her down. It just got worse. So it was actually my helper who tell me off saying that I shouldn't use this approach on her. She told you off? Yeah, I mean, I, even I'm the, I'm the paid master and she's my helper, I do listen to her. Some, I nowadays, I tend to get her she, feedback. She's like your consultant now? Yes, because I believe she, she spent more time with Kylie. So naturally, she's also uh, uh, understand her better. So, and your, your moment with Kylie, uh, do you, when she's before sleep, do you talk to her? If you're around, weekend, any special program, two of you? Uh, weekend is a bit tough because uh, she spent her weekend on, at her mother's place. So, I all, sometimes even when it's about bedtime when she goes to sleep, I'm still back, not back home yet. I'm still at work. So, I always have a habit that I will tell her that you must call me before uh, you actually go to bed. So in some cases, I'm actually in the middle of an appointment or like I would actually hold my, my conversation with a client. I would just go to a site just to... It's your to commitment them. to Kylie. Yes. So this particular time, whenever Kylie call you, that everything will slow down just for her. Yes. But of course, in some cases where I really can't, then I have to apologize to her. Either I call her back or the next day I'll tell her that I'm sorry I couldn't answer her call. There was a special moment uh, you told me well, not too, too long ago, you were supposed to receive an award. Yeah, I was. It was during one of my the Pronex uh, convention whereby my company actually gave out the uh, trophy for those top producers. So I was telling her that uh, I'll be going out on stage and uh, my company actually allows family members and children to join us to receive the award. So I wanted, uh, asked her whether she wanted to join. So she actually said yes. And on that very day, she was actually having diarrhea. So I was actually telling her if she don't, she's not feeling well, why not? I bring you on the next trip. But she said no, she insists that she must be there. So I'm actually very proud of her. She's very happy and she wanted to share my achievement. <laughs> now, um, your message to all the parents out there, how would you like to bring your message across? Uh, of course, I'm a divorcee. I actually went to a divorce. So for those uh, so single father, I mean, if you can, I would uh, encourage or try to, to, to meditate and not to get into this stage whereby we're undergoing the divorce. But of course, in some cases, uh, it can't be done. So for those single, single father, uh, I would like to tell them that they are not the only one out there. So uh, sometimes in, during that journey, it can, get, it can be tough, uh, be it juggling the time uh, on work and spending the time with the children. But uh, always be reminded that uh, you will bear the fruits because uh, the children are our everything. So I'm sure there will be the reward in time to come.